everybody, it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel, or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you didn't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes, and today in this video I'm going to go over the top 10 things you should never leave in a movie theater. So, this is stuff you just never want to forget. I mean, I understand we all forget things at places, and luckily we are able to recover it most of the time, but sometimes you may not be able to get certain things back after this stuff is lost, and sometimes it can be quite a pain to replace all this stuff. So these are things that you just shouldn't leave in a movie theater because people can get a hold of your personal information through these things or um, you might have something important that someone else can get it a hold of and you don't want them to have it. So you should always be mindful and keep track of your stuff when you go to the movies. So I'm going to get started and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Number one on my list would have to be your wallet. So you never want to forget your wallet in a movie theater just because your wallet has so much stuff. It has your money, it has your payment cards, it has your ID in there, it might have some personal information you don't want to have. So you just never want to leave your wallet in a movie theater because someone else can get a hold of the, that personal information and all your money and everything. Thing. And that's never a good thing to forget your wallet, but there are some nice people who will return your wallet to you and I've known several people who have accidentally left their wallet in certain places they shouldn't leave it and they've actually gotten their wallets back from some very nice people who are kind enough to return their wallets to them. So just in case um, you should always just make sure you if you have like a clutch wallet and it doesn't have like a strap you should probably leave it in your purse and you don't forget it. Number two on my list would have to be your cell phone. So you never want to forget your cell phone in a movie theater just because you have all your important calls, you might have some personal things in there that you don't want people to have, and um, you need it for emergencies. You just don't want to forget your cell phone because you might have some stuff that you don't want people to see on there. Number three on my list has to be your garbage from your food. So you never want to leave your garbage from your food in the movie theater just because they're trying to keep the movie theater clean. And you just never want to leave it because it could probably cause the movie theater to smell really bad. And you always should be mindful because even though there's employees who clean up your stuff, excuse me. Sorry about that. So even though there's employees that clean up after the guests, you should always be mindful and just like clean up after yourself because you don't want to make more work for the employees. That's not fair. A good tip I have is if you have an empty popcorn bin, just take all your garbage and throw it that throw it in that empty popcorn bin so then you can just throw it all away at once. So it just makes it a lot easier for you. That's what I usually do is I just take my empty popcorn bag and I just throw all my garbage in there to make it easier on myself. Number four on my list would have to be your jacket. So you never want to forget your jacket in the movies just because your jacket might be very expensive. And also sometimes when you lose jackets in the movies, they are very difficult to get back. Back and it's never a good thing, even if it's an expensive jacket. You just never want to leave your jacket in the movie theaters because you might have because you might never get it back. Back. So sometimes you can recover it at a lost and found because I know there's some movie theaters that have lost and founds, but sometimes you just may not be able to get it back. So you should always be mindful and take, keep track of your stuff when you're in the movies. Number five on my list would have to be your purse. So you never want to forget your purse in the movies just because your purse might have a bunch of things like your money, cards, and anything like super important. You should never want to forget your money, get your purse in the movies just because your purse has like everything that you need for emergencies like money and whatnot. And when you leave your purse in the movies, somebody can steal it and somebody can get a hold of your money or anything personal you have in there that you don't want somebody to have. 
Number six on my list would have to be your backpack. So you never want to forget your backpack in the movies just because your backpack makes it easier for you to carry things and um, your backpack might have some stuff you need, whether it's your school stuff or stuff for work you need and you don't want anybody to have any of that stuff. And when you leave your backpack in the movies, you might lose some important stuff or you might um, not be able to get your backpack recovered. Number seven on my list should have to be your glasses. So you never want to forget your glasses in the movies because glasses are super expensive to replace. I definitely know because I had to get my glasses replaced like two times. So my first pair I accidentally broke because I was trying to fix them. And then my second pair fell off the dishwasher at my last job and they broke. So, um... You never want to forget your glasses at work just because your glasses cost money to replace. And um, glasses are super expensive to replace. I know because I've definitely had to pay to get my glasses replaced and get new glasses and everything. And it really sucks to break your glasses. Trust me. Trust me. Never want that to happen. Number eight on my list had to be your keys. So you never want to forget your keys in the movie theaters because that is super, super dangerous because your keys have may have the keys to your apartment or your house on there or the keys to your car on there. So you never want to forget any of your keys at all because someone can get a hold of getting inside your house and taking things or getting a hold of, hold of getting inside your car and taking things. And that is really not a good thing. Number nine on my list would have to be your money. So you never want to forget your money in the movies just because you may need that money for emergencies. And if you don't have money, how are you going to pay for certain things? Or if you're in trouble, how are you going to pay for certain things when you need your money? So you should always keep your money in your wallet so then you don't forget it. Get it? Never leave money lying around because once money is found, then it's finders keepers. Number 10 on my list would have to be food. Sorry, so you never want to forget food in the movies just because food can go very bad and when you leave it in there, it could really make, excuse me. Sorry about that quick interruption. Anyway, um, so you never want to leave food in the movies just because food can go bad, it can smell really bad, it can stink up the movie theater, and it can create quite a gross mess for the movie theater people to clean up. So when you're eating food or food, you should always like make sure if you can't finish it, you should just either you should just take it out of the movie theaters with you, or if you can't finish it all, just throw it away. Wait, even though that is a waste, but you should never leave any food in the theater at all because it can cause the movie theater to smell really bad and there's nothing that smells probably worse than old, disgusting food. So those are my top 10 things you should never leave in a movie theater. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes. And I'll see you in another video soon. Bye!